Hello and welcome to Cinetracer 0.75. We've had a pretty good secret beta here for both PC and Mac and happy to report that this is loading up on pretty old systems, which is great and of course works on newer systems as well. A lot has changed uh, in this version and let's cover uh, the new additions and also what has unfortunately had to be removed to make all of this work better. If you are in production with this, uh, do not open up your saves with this new version. Instead, uh, you can go to the betas here and go check out 6.3. That's the version that's been up for like the better part of a, a year now. And uh, back up your saves before you start using the new version. Uh, if you are interested in checking out the experimental version, they are on beta and there's a Mac beta too. So we have one new map, there's gonna be more maps. I'm focusing now more on maps. And uh, let's get into the new stuff. You'll see that the old actors have been removed and metahumans have been added. Metahumans, if you haven't heard of them, are made by Epic Games and they're made specifically to work with Unreal Engine really well. And they look great. So I've spent basically a year uh, working on learning how to use them, uh, how to make clothes for them, how to make them animate, and most importantly, how to get them into Cinetracer. So let's look at the different ways we can uh, change the metahumans. The first thing is the visual quality here. And we have four different settings. PC and Mac have slightly different versions of what happens, but overall, they just look better. Next is the body cut editor, you different parts of the body. This is mostly useful when you find clothing where the body is popping out. Next we have uh, four different haircuts for or styles for the male and four for the female and you click them and they load in. They might take a little bit depending on how fast your computer is. This is the hair editor. Uh, one side will make it go black, one side white, and in between is blonde and brown. If you crank redness and then play with melanin, you will get uh, red hair. So uh, next is gray hair, which will slowly add gray in, which is kind of nice. And desaturation and roughness, I wouldn't mess with those unless you're feeling daring. If you want some hair dye, like some really colored hair, you want to crank up saturation. And now we have some pretty colorful hair, like the end of uh, Squid Games right there. That's what that reminds me of. If you want to be realistic, stay on the lower side of intensity and, you know, bring the uh, saturation down. Uh, but do whatever you want, of course. So that is the body adjustments for now. Uh, next we have our clothing. Uh, these are the stock metahuman clothes for now, except for the last two. And I am actually the one who's making all the clothing. So if you have requests for clothing, let me know. Uh, I'm definitely in the mode to make lots of metahuman clothes. Just know that I make them. It takes a long time. It's kind of a pain, but uh, I've been learning how to do that. Uh, we've chosen the shoes here and you'll see that they are kind of revealing the foot and this is a good case where we can go to no foot or basically just go to no lower body because the pants and shoes completely cover them. Um, it's kind of a nuance, it may not bother you that much if they're poking out and it depends on the pose, but that's why we have the visual editor. Next we're going to look at the different body poses there are. And these are a couple that I've made and I will continue to make more. They're kind of fun to make. Um, and if you don't like this pose, you can go in and make your own. And it's a pretty detailed process, but you know, controlling a human is, uh, has a lot of different parts of it. We've got 10 fingers, we've got a whole lot going on. So you could go through each room here and figure out what slider you want, or you could click on the little dots here that will bring you to the correct room. So we're going through the different uh, options there. Something cool to remember is that the hips, that center part, will actually move the entire body. That's really important to understand. It'll make more sense when these characters auto pose onto furniture and cars and stuff like that, which will be coming soon. But most importantly here, if you want the feet to be above the ground, you're gonna wanna pull the hips up like that. And now if you move him around, uh, his feet, wherever you land him, will not be through the floor. So he kind of has two ways of positioning him, kind of like the global position of himself, and then like the local. And this is editing the local. And these work, uh, hopefully straightforward. I tried to name them in a way that makes sense. Uh, it is, you know, kind of a cumbersome process to make these poses, but it can be done. 
and uh, I've used a lot of different animation software and rigs and whatnot. And this is the most straightforward one I could uh, think of while being able to hit all the different poses that we really want. So I'm gonna add a little bit of lighting here. If you're on PC with an RTX card, you can turn on ray tracing, which will make the shadows a little bit more realistic. But we're gonna go on to the face poses. And this is really like the special sauce of the metahumans here are that their faces are rigged to move uh, and speak and emote really well, which for now in Cinetracer, we're sticking to just posing them. That's the most important. But know that these animate extremely well too. And so we'll have some kind of experimental talking scenes that I'm gonna put in the game that I record so that people can uh, kind of film them and whatnot. So these are just some of the controls we have for each one. Um, so far, these are all very straightforward. The one that's gonna be kind of interesting next is jaw open. So if you want the mouth to actually open, it's the downside of this control here. Uh, and the jaw moves back and forth. And they all work really well together. It's, it's pretty incredible. I'm resetting the face there. Uh, this is lowering and uh, raising the lips. Chin raise here. And then this one here, lips together. Uh, it keeps the lips together when the mouth is open, which is a really specific thing. And perhaps I'll make a more detailed video about just posing the face and then a video about just posing the body. So that is the main thing that we can get done with the metahumans for now. We can also customize the color of each piece of clothing. They have each piece of clothing will have a different amount of things that can be customized. But for now, it's only color, which I thought was like the most important thing to get right. And I believe we maxed out at four custom colors. So these shoes really, um, you know, max out how much you can, what's it called? How much you can customize, like how many different things you can customize on the actual thing. So uh, we're gonna bring out another metahuman. And so for now, every single time you want a new metahuman, you gotta dress them, you gotta pick the quality, you gotta pick the hair, um, but it will be possible in the future if people think that this is helpful to have some presets so that you don't have to do this the whole time. But I think half of the fun is actually customizing them. And uh, then you get to see like if I've added any new clothing or whatnot. In this case, I've decided to put on the no toes uh, body cut so that we don't have her toes popping through. Uh, I did make these heels. They're not rigged perfectly, but they're, they're okay. Her foot's still kind of coming through on certain parts. And you'll see that this one pose is kind of set up for heels, but I'm going to click on the legs and kind of fix the toes um, like this and then try to get the foot to look planted like this too. So now if I saved the game, it would save this pose. Uh, you can't save your own custom poses to like a library yet, but that's something I'm definitely uh, thinking about adding. So there are our two lovely metahumans. Uh, let's send them back into the white psych and I'm just going to put together like a little bit of a commercial white psych scene, which is like what my old life uh, used to be completely. I'm just kind of messing with the sun angle here. And so this update took a very long time. Um, if you followed on Instagram, which you don't have to, but that's where I kind of just like casually vlog or blog and just kind of like talk about what I'm working on. The metahumans came out one day and I was like, oh, these are really cool. Like, I think these would be great in Cinetracer. Obviously, they made an epic game. So for legal reasons and for shader reasons, for all reasons, groom reasons, the hair, they just are perfect for Cinetracer. And I kind of knew at that point, I was like, I'm going to do everything I can to get these in the game. And getting everything together and learning how to work with these required a lot of leveling up on my part. And it, it took a year. And there's still a lot I want to be able to do um, with the metahumans that I, I can't do currently. I'm still learning how to do this. But at this point, I thought that they were good enough to start sharing with people. And uh, I've been working on the memory management for the system now, for the game. And like really old, um, like IMAX and whatnot, have, I've been hearing can actually load this game and it's faster now, which is great. Because the metahumans themselves are pretty heavy. I had to get rid of a lot of stuff to kind of free up some memory and whatnot. Uh, but overall, very happy with this final uh, addition of a digital human base now. I can spend time and make clothes for them. That's going to continuously work out. Um, and the furniture, they're going to be able to pose on top of them, which you'll see maybe next update, something like that. And it just gives me uh, a great foundation to build everything off of now. I've been wanting a digital human standard for a very long time. 
Uh, if you've been using the program for a while, you've seen the different iterations and, and kind of like experiments I've done. But the metahumans really are just like the perfect Unreal Engine human standard. So everything from the game on this point on is going to basically revolve around them. So that's why this update took quite a while is because this is now the foundation of the game. Look how nice they look. They look great, don't they? That's the update, and I'll see you on the next video. See you later.